Welcome. Today we are sharing our thoughts about Tuesdays with Maury. Could you accept death as gracefully as Maury did? Uh, I don't think I could. I think I'd be stressed out all the time, and I don't think I'd have as many people over. And what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, like Nolan said, I think I'd be super stressed. I can see myself getting a little depressed and kind of closing myself off. Maury really came at it with an open mind, and I don't really think anyone can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, why did Mitch drift away uh, from Maury after college, do you think? I really just think he started focusing on the wrong things, like money and fame, when he should have just been remembering Maury. Do you know what started that cause? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Um, will Mitch teach what he learned from Maury to other people, do you think? I really think he will. I think that's kind of maybe why he even wrote the memoir in the first place. Yeah. I think he really valued what he learned from Maury, and he'll definitely pass it on to the next generation. All right, and this question is for both of you guys as well. If you were to leave a legacy, what would it be? Uh, I just want to be seen as a good person and nice to everybody else. That's very nice. And what about you? If I were to leave a legacy, I would want my legacy to be building others up before myself and kind of just uplifting others the best I can before I focus awesome. on myself. That's awesome. Hey, thank, thank you, thank boys. You, thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> All right, so Rob, how did the creation of the memoir change the author's life? Uh, I think it changed it for the better. It really gave him insight on his wrongdoings and his past and how he focused on work a lot. And he, after the book, he gave more to society. So I think it helped him for the better. Those are some great thoughts. All right, and now why, why did the author write the memoir in your opinion? I think that the author wrote the memoir, well, it was obviously to pay for Maury's bills. That was his original plan. But he also wanted to spread awareness for how great of a man Maury was. He wanted to spread his thoughts and his lessons. Amazing. All right, and now Rob, how did the author's relationship with his family change during his time with Maury? Uh, as you can tell best with his brother who moved away and wasn't really in contact, uh, Mitch really felt bad. He tried to contact t contact him more, and even if it didn't work, I think it still was a change in heart from what it was before. And even with his parents, he started talking to him more, getting a better relationship and stuff. Amazing. All right, and now Wyatt. How do you think Mitch had the foresight to record his sessions with Maury? I think that he wanted to make a document or a memoir the whole time. I think he had that plan from the beginning and he just started to record them so he could remember them and quote him and just, yeah, make, make a memoir with it. Awesome, and this is for both of you, but I'm gonna start with Rob. If you were to leave a legacy, what would it be? I think a legacy would just having something nice in the past, past. Like, either it's something they can remember you by, or even if they don't have to remember you, but something you've done to help people in the future. Just just something to affect the future in some way for the better. Awesome, and now Wyatt? I wanna leave wealth for the future generations, but I also wanna leave stories and memories for them. So I wanna tell them my stories, and I wanna leave them with memories that they can remember forever. That's fantastico. Thank you guys.